this is an educational video, so nobody will watch it. Teenagers, the stage of life between childhood and adulthood, which almost every other age group despises. It wasn't officially established as a separate age group until the 1950s. Let me walk you through the history. Insert magic harp sound. In the Middle Ages, boys went to school or worked until around 12 to 16 when they might be recruited by masters of various trades to be apprentices and trained until adulthood where they became masters and, you know, so on. Otherwise, they were just expected to work. Girls, well, they were expected to get married and provide children with some hairy old guy when they're about 14 to 16. Fun. Throughout most of history, you were a child from zero to 18 and an adult after that. Adolescents were expected to obey the every will of their parents and focus on work. Work, work, work. Society was very strict and agrarian until the fearsome fifties. See, before that, adolescents, most adolescents were working and few people went to school. Then through the early 20th century, new inventions, science and technology allowed people to work less, freeing up more free time. School attendance dramatically increased from 1900 to 1930, from about 10% to about 70%. This set up the rise of teenage culture. All it needed was a little, well, big war. World War II folks did a lot of good things and bad things, like bringing more women to work and setting up teenage culture. Anyway, back to the fearsome 50s. It was in this period which the world came to know and hate the word teenager. See, the post-war parents didn't want their children to be exposed to military instead of going to school because war is awful and it shell shocks the teenager out of you. But that's what not what they were worried about. What they were worried about is their children getting killed and having traumatized, having been traumatized for the rest of their life. They became more independent and rebellious and socialized more at school and dances. They were introduced to rock and roll, a huge influence. Rebellion added with the new strict parental rules that forbade them to date black kids and also the new influxuation of Puerto Rican and black communities combined with the post-war crisis caused the formation of gangs. Most gangs in the 1950s were composed of teenagers. They fought in rumbles over turf and girls and many of them just joined to be safe from other gangs. It was a rough time. Teenagers were violent, rebellious, and many of them wound up in jail. This new age group slowly evolved into what we see today. From nothing to stupid duck-faced photographs all over Facebook, Instagrams, etc. etc. Teenagers are something.